Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to be doing, I suddenly thought of another idea, since I love doing the Queen and I thought I would do dinner with the Duchess. Now I don't know whether I'm doing Kate or I'm doing Meghan and I thought maybe I would do a little bit of both. Um, so I've been studying pictures and one thing I think both of them have got in common is that they are really they use really quality skincare um, and make sure that their skin is in tip top condition so i'm going to do that first so let's get going with this look okay now one of the things that i've seen that um the duchess of sussex megan uses is um face balm now i do have an elemis face balm and you know that i like face balms um an elemis face balm is good but there's a couple of really good drugstore alternatives yes and one of them is um by boots called botanics and that's really good and smells just as yummy as elemis and the other one i wanted to show you is this one which i'm using at the moment which is chamomile i always come back to this chamomile sumptuous cleansing butter it smells lovely it's for sensitive skin and it's really good at taking makeup off but I'm going to put some of this on. Obviously, it, it I don't need to take makeup off. But I want to give my face a good cleanse. And it cleanses really, really well without causing any irritation. Now, once I've done this, I will take a flannel to it. <laughs> and that is... Kate Middleton's secret beauty weapon is the flannel. It was my nan's beauty weapon. Um, people are going back to the good old flannel. Why? Because it's really good gentle exfoliator. It removes and cleanses your skin, removes dirt and grime really well. And it just basically really gets the circulation going in your face i remember when i was little my nan used to always come up behind me and go with a flannel Why? and actually to clean my face and actually it does give you the best clean so you never do that to me i am going to oh don't give me ideas <laughs> i am going to go and remove this with a flannel and I will be right back. This is the Body Shop Chamomile. Very good price, often on offer as well. Very, smells beautiful. Okay, so I've just done that. Now, if you like muslin cloths, um, a really good flannel to get is the Emma Hardy Amazing Face Cloth because on one side it has got a really soft flannel and on the other side <coughs> it has got a muslin cloth so you get the best of both worlds and it comes with a little loop at the end um, so that you can hang it on a hook which I do next to the sink and use it rinse it out a couple of times before you put it in the wash um, which I do with antibacterial soap now I haven't used this before in this way I've used it more to go to bed um, before night time, but apparently um, the Duchess of Cambridge, i.e. Kate Middleton, uses organic rosehip oil. Now she doesn't use this make, but the make that I use of organic oils, jojoba, camellia and rosehip, is by Fushi. She uses another brand um, and I'll have to put that on voiceover here. The brand she reportedly uses is Trilogy. But I'm just going to put a few drops of this onto my face. It is very, very yellow, as you can probably see. So be careful about spilling it anywhere in case it discolours anything. But it's supposed to help with a really nice glow. And what is good about this is I don't find it as greasy as some of the others. Now, my face has been quite dry, 
So I feel like I need to add a little bit more, which is telling me that this is probably really good if you're not, if you've got normal skin or even possibly, or if you've got oily, I would recommend a hoba oil. Um, but this doesn't, this feels like it sinks straight into the skin so that you're not going to end up with an oily face. And I'm just going to take a few minutes to massage that in to my complexion. Okay, now I haven't really got any other skincare products that are similar to what the duchesses have. Um, but I'm just going to make sure that I do as much as I can to ensure a glowing complexion. Now, first of all, I'm just putting on some eye serum and this is my La Prairie one, caviar one, which I treated myself to on my La Prairie splurge. Um, it's very good. You can put it on the eyelids and it firms up the eyelids. It's very light, a light formula. And I often put this on under an eye cream. And then because I've got oil on, I'm, I'm going to miss out moisturiser and go straight for sunscreen. Okay, I've just put my sunscreen on um, and I used Helio Care because this one doesn't give me that pale kind of um, hue that my zinc oxide sunscreen gives me, but a lovely glow. And it also adapts a little bit to your skin tone. Now, Kate and um, Megan, when you look at their makeup, um, I think, I believe from reports that I've read, and they are only reports because they will never confirm, but I believe that Meghan Markle um, likes to use um, Giorgio Armani, um, not the Power Fabric one that I have, but the Luminous Silk foundation which i really do want to get one day um because it's had some very good reviews um but what i thought i'd do is i'd use the power fabric but i'm going to kind of um water it down a little bit and i'll show you that next okay so first of all i'm going to use giorgio armani light master primer which is possible that she uses before her luminous silk foundation as it's another Giorgio Armani product. And I'm just gonna buff that in with a brush. And this is just gonna brighten up my complexion a little bit. It's possible that there may be a little bit of foundation left over on this, although this does have a brightening appearance. just finish off by just making sure that this is all blended in because one of the things that when you look at photographs is you really can't see foundation you can't see a line it just looks like skin on both of them they really don't look like heavily foundationed so for that reason I'm going to move on to the power fabric foundation but because this is full of coverage than um, think you can the light, um, the luminous oh, silk yeah. foundation. I'm going to make it a little lighter by mixing it with rosehip oil as it's the Duchess's oil of choice and hoping this will work because I've never mixed a foundation with rosehip oil before. I've mixed it with other oils. There's no reason to suggest it wouldn't work but I'm going to mix it so it makes it slightly lighter. So I've just put one drop onto my hand and I'm going to mix my foundation into that, which will immediately water it down because it's quite a thick foundation. And then I'm going to apply that onto my face all over before I buff it in with a brush. And I'm gonna try not to make it 
too heavy. It feels quite thin now anyway. So it might look like I'm putting on a lot, but I'm just dotting very thin layers to get even coverage. And I do not want to see where my foundation starts or ends. So I want to make sure that I've got it round the hairline near my ears and let's go. Okay, and just to make sure again, that this doesn't look like foundation. This is really going to look like this is just my skin. I'm just going to smooth that out with my hand, like so. Now, this is going to be quite difficult for me because you know that I always like to go under here, which I'll do a little bit but I like to go under here and dot a bit of foundation, but I'm trying to avoid doing it because as you know, Megan actually lets her freckles show. Now, granted mine aren't really freckles, they're a bit more hyperpigmentation, but nevertheless, you can clearly see pigmentation on her skin. So I'm not going to try too hard to cover it up. Okay, now if I start putting on loads of concealer, again, it's going to start looking too made up. But what I do want is to get an eye brightening effect. So I'm going to use Charlotte's um, Miracle Wand. <clears throat> and I am just going to... But before I do that, I want to show you a little bit of a discovery that I think has really helped me. And will help this look as well. Right, if you've got, like me, very, very dry under eyes, I wouldn't try this if you don't. Um, but my eyes get very dried out um, as they, as you know, they water, they mix with the makeup and it then becomes crusty and very sore and very dry. Um, one of the things that I would recommend is lanolips. Now, be careful about the lanolips that you get because you want, you don't want any that have got anything unnatural. However, this is Lanolips 101. Now this has got coconut in it, but it's not coconut fragrance. It's actual coconut. There are no nasties in here. There's no smellies. There is no nothing. Um, and it is a very thick balm that you can use on your lips. And I will put some of this on my lips because I think this will be good on my lips, but I'm also, going to use this under my eyes and you may think that's too thick but let me show you in a second so this one is called lanolips 101 ointment multi balm coconutter you can just get the original if you want this has just got a bit of coconut oil in and actually i understand that um megan uses coconut oil. Um, I think she uses it in her hair, but she's definitely, I've read somewhere about coconut oil. <coughs> you can smell the coconut, but it's not artificial. Now what I'm gonna do under my eyes, because what I found is that this creates a really good barrier. So if my eyes start to water, it doesn't actually sink into that skin underneath my eyes. It just waterproofs it really. So it kind of, it's a bit like if you put Vaseline, although I wouldn't suggest Vaseline because it's got petroleum, but this is pure lanolin. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit on my finger like this, literally the end, that's probably even too much. And then I'm going to do this between my fingers because I want it, to warm it up till it become, feels like it's almost a serum. 
to really, really warm it up. And then I press it under the eye like this. And what that will do, not only will that waterproof, but any fine lines that are there are going to be minimised. If you have oily skin or you don't have dry under eyes, I wouldn't suggest using this because it might make them look too greasy or might, might weigh them down. But if, like me, you have dry under eyes or they're constantly watering, this really helps. And it's going to give me that kind of polished look. Now, I'm putting that on before Charlotte's Beauty Light Wand. I'm not going to use her, not Whoa! Beauty Light Wand, Miracle Eye Wand. I'm not going to use, I'm not going to use her serum because that's got alcohol in it and that will now? irritate um, and I've already put yeah, this on yeah. but I am going to put the other side on side two to give me some brightening I want some brightening but I don't want to necessarily just blot out all my complexion so I'll just give this a little twist and I'm just gonna put this here to try and get to where the shadow is. Can you see I'm just taking it into the shadow like that to try and minimize the shadow under my eye. And then I'm going to use my fingers to very gradually blend that out. Again, this is not going to look heavily made up, but it's just gonna brighten under the eyes. If you put this over a concealer, then it's going to look a little bit more made up. And as you know, for me, obviously Kate and, and uh, Megan don't have this as much, they're not as old as me, but I put some of this in these lines here, just to take away the shadow a little bit from those lines. And that was a trick taught to me by a makeup artist at Charlotte Tilbury. Just give your finger a wiggle to blend it in to that line and it will look less accentuated. And what I try and do is to get that into this line as well. Just into the line to throw the light away and take the shadow off it. Where it's very pronounced. It's a bit... There. It's where you can really see the lines. Again, get your finger and just give it a little wiggle. And again here, give it a little wiggle like that. So you're blending it into the line and the line alone. And here. Can you see how that just takes away the look of that those lines immediately without making me look overly done up? Now again, I'm just going to go back in. And with my hands, I just want to make sure that there are no lines. It doesn't look like I have lots of foundation on. And that's that. Now I'm going to use some of Charlotte's powder, <clears throat> but her, I'm going to use her airbrush flawless finish powder. <clears throat> Excuse a frog in my throat, but just down the centre of my face. Do you have a frog? Okay, so this is the Airbrush Flawless <laughs> Finish Powder in shade 2. And I'm just putting that on with a brush and taking that down the areas that look a little bit oily. So that tends to be around my nose, just here, where you don't want too much of a shine. And obviously, where I've put that under eye, it's looking a bit too shiny. So I'll just lightly pat some powder 
under there too. Now this is really, you cannot believe how much out of my comfort zone this is because I can still see some of my pigmentation popping through. But that is what Megan would do with her freckles. But please don't expect me to draw any in because I just can't bring myself to do that having spent a number of years trying to get rid of pigmentation I just can't do it but there are plenty of channels that will show you how to if you want if you want to draw some in you can use um Charlotte's foxy brown lip pencil lip cheat which is apparently very good and she used on um she used on Kate Moss on her wedding day to draw some little freckles in on her nose but I'm not doing it sorry can't can't bring myself everyone has their limits okay next I'm going to do blush and then we'll get on to the eyeshadow okay now um I think there have been some mention about blushes that they use and Bobby Brown pink blusher was one suggestion but I always think that their cheeks look very natural and kind of very outdoorsy. I'm going to use what I used on the Queen's um, look, which is so pretty by Daniel Sandler. I don't think you can go wrong with this for a natural pink flushed look on your cheeks. So I just put a drop there and doing what I did the other day, which worked really well, is that I place a drop there and then with the side of my hand which seems to work really well I then just rub it in like so to give me a nice flushed outdoor glow and again the other side I don't see a lot of contouring um, or very shimmery highlighters on either of the Duchesses. But I think if they do use anything as a highlighter, it would be something that gives you a kind of natural glow rather than a shimmery glow. And I've got just the thing, so I'll be right back. Okay, I was going to use my Studio 10 Glow Plection, but I can't find it at the moment. But actually, this is just as good. So if you take some of this lips, and again, just take a tiny bit on the tip of your finger and then rub it between your fingers. What you want is a glow and not a spark, not a, not a shimmer. So actually, if you just put some of this up here and then just pat it, it will give you that highlight fresh highlight without there being a shimmer it will hit the light and actually it will have the advantage of keeping that area moisturized so can you see that so it's a really useful product you can use it in so many different ways um i probably wouldn't put it up on my brow but I would use that there um, and I can also use, oops, there's a bit of an air bubble then and a whole lot came out, but that's okay, I've kind of put it back in. You can also put a bit on the top there. Because again, that's just going to moisturise your lip area. Okay. Okay, we're gonna move on to eyeshadow. Actually, before I move on to eyeshadow, I'm just gonna move on to a little bit of bronzer. Now, obviously Kate has got a very kind of English rose complexion and Megan has got a very tanned complexion. Um, and just to warm, sometimes you just need to warm up the face, but it's not about warming it up all over. Now I have got, what I have been able to find is my Studio 10, Glowplexion bronzer, which I shall put some here. 
just a little bit on my hand and again it's the same sort of um, formula as Glowplexion but in a bronzer and I'm just going to rub that into these areas here just to give a kind of natural sun kissed I've been out in the sun rather than I've put makeup on and a tiny bit dotted there on the middle of my nose okay, okay now apparently um, Kate Middleton uses um, Urban Decay, the original Naked palette, which was the Smoky palette. Um, and not sure, obviously, what um, Megan uses. But I thought today, instead of trying to copy completely what they use, because I haven't got the products, I have got Urban Decay palettes. We don't know exactly what Megan uses. Let's see if I can recreate it using the new Icon palette. And I'll show you what I've observed because I think they both apply their makeup in a quite similar way on the eyes. Okay. okay, so both ladies go in for quite smoky eyes, I've said. And so they tend to not put shimmery shades on their lids but they go for smoke on their lids and then blend it out. And I thought I would do a version of kind of a pastiche of their eye makeup rather than absolutely copying them. So I'm actually going to go in with this blue and the green mixed together on a shading brush. Sorry about the noise in the background. I'm just going to mix the blue and the green together. And I'm just going to press this on the lid here. And put this. Yeah, true. Maybe you just bought an account. On my mobile lid. At the moment, that's looking more blue than green. So I'll put a bit more of the green to mix it in. I want to mix the two shadows in together to make it look like a greeny blue. They may not go for a shade that is quite as shimmery as this. I think the glitter particles may not be as big. But as I said, I'm doing a kind of pastiche on the look rather than a complete copy. And again, the other side. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm just going to blend that up and out as much as I can. I think this shadow doesn't actually want to move a lot, the, the shimmer shades, because they're meant to be applied a little bit more with the fingers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in a little bit with the black shade, just very gently onto my blending brush, this one here. And I'm just gonna use that to blend it out. Because if I put it on very gently, it's gonna go on gray, which is what I want. How much? 150, Little bit more. It's always better to start small and build up. Oh, 
Okay, and then I'm going to take that eyeshadow, the blue and the green mixed together, and I'm gonna run that under the eye all the way along. I will put a tiny bit of brow highlight on, although I don't recall seeing a lot. Just enough to highlight the brow. And of course I haven't done the brows yet, so I will do those shortly. Okay. I think that's looking very Kate at the moment. Now, next of all, I am going to use a product that Kate uses, um, or, or so they say, and that is the Bobbi Brown um, eyeliner. Now, she probably uses brown, but I have black, so I'm going to use black. Okay, I've actually got this in two shades. I've got one um, in... Um, in another shade called um, Ivy, which is a lovely green. I may put that underneath my eye. I'll just show you that one. But I'm just going to go in and put the black one on the top. Now, I don't see very much of a flick going on in in either of the eyeliners. Perhaps just a little bit at the end, but I don't generally see that. But I do see a, a kind of brush width of an eyeliner going on. And I'm going to start off with the black underneath because they do tend to really smoke out the eyes with black. So I'm going to put this underneath all the way along. Okay, but what if I dye it the top of Blue House? I'm so used to taking it up and out. That's my habit. But not Kate's. I think this is looking more Kate than uh, uh, going to the top. Megan at the oh, moment. A duo's going to the top. No, nope, I'm running. Now Megan tends to put black eyeliner in as well. I'm just going to check about Kate. Okay, so Megan tends to go for black, black eyeliner on the waterline underneath. Kate tends to sometimes do that but sometimes go for lighter and certainly on her wedding day. Um, so I'm going to get and sometimes it's either sort of um, skin coloured or it's just slightly lighter than the black line underneath. So as a compromise I'm going to use this NYX faux black in colour onyx because it's actually sort of grey black it's not completely black and I think that this is quite a good dupe for what she tends to put on her waterline and I'm just going to put some in the top as well just to make the lashes look thicker. Now, I just want to smudge that line underneath because it's looking a bit harsh. And they don't tend to have harsh lines, but smoky lines underneath. Okay, and before I get on to brows, we will do mascara. Now, I do happen to have the mascara that Kate reportedly uses, and that is Hypnose by Lancome, 
I've got a travel size of it. So I'm going to get that and I'll be right back. Okay, actually it's a full size. I've got the small size in doll eyes, but this is the one that she reportedly uses. I'm going to put that on now. Okay, now apparently the Duchess uses Bobbi Brown Brow Duo, which is a powder. I'm just trying to get this. I don't have that, but I do have the Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder, which is very similar because it's got two colours, like so, and a little sponge. But I'm going to go in with this, which is a little big, bigger spoolie brush that I have. Um, and I'm going to put this on with a brush so that I get a similar effect. So first of all, I'm swiping it through the brow. I'm not going to make this too defined because it doesn't look painted in her brow at all. And then I'll brush it like so. And then go in with a bit more and build it up because we want it to look natural not painted in and then you use the darker one at the end of the brow here see that I told you there was a trap pit. I couldn't see it. I was a trap pit. Why didn't you listen to me? Because you said it a millisecond before the trap hit me. Okay, and then the other side. Your screen it might be, but not mine. Okay, so that's the brows finished. But of course, we need to finish with the Duchess. There are some other lipsticks which I'm going to talk you through in a minute. And I am denied about whether or not to use them. But I think you're all expecting the Duchess. And of course, Charlotte's got a very good eye for what the sort of colours that the Duchess wears. So I'm going to get that lipstick and I'll be right back. So first of all, I'm going in with Pillow Talk um, and filling it in, but I'm giving it a good smudge with my lips and also with my fingers because she doesn't go in for really defined lips. Finally, the Duchess. And again, smudging out with my fingers to make sure it doesn't look too defined. Okay, so I will take this off and that is my final look. Obviously, I don't have Kate's long hair or Meghan's. Now, if this was a Meghan Markle look, um, it would be a similar eyeshadow, um, but it would be um, very Victoria, which I will show you in a minute. Okay. Sorry, boy. Sorry, boy. 
you on your Okay, so this was mainly Kate, but if you wanted to go for Meghan Markle, of course, reportedly her favourite lipstick is very Victoria. And up until Supermodel came out, it was one of my favourites, but I think Supermodel has now changed, become more favoured than this, but they're very similar. And I will see if I can find a picture of what I think is very Victoria um, and put it next to me so that you can decide for yourself. So the last lipstick I think that is very Kate-esque is Berry Nude, which is the new Latex Love Lipsticks. Lipsticks. But she tends to not put them on too heavily. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Dinner with the Duchess. I'm now off to make dinner. Um, and I will see you next week. Take care. Don't forget to keep those suggestions coming in. And I wanted to say a hello to Pamela, who I forgot to say hello to on my live. One second, Jack. And a hello to Mimi's mum, because I didn't realise when I was reading all the messages that it was Mimi's mum. So hello to Mimi's mum. And thank you for joining us last week. And to anyone else I may have missed, I'm really sorry. Sometimes the messages go so fast and I get so carried away talking about makeup. That I can't see all your messages until I look back afterwards. But I always review them afterwards. All right. And Jack, also, before I go, wants to advertise. Uh, there's a link in the description bar to Jack's channel. Okay. So I will put that in there. And he's desperate for subscribers because he's only got 11. All right. Take care. And don't forget to join me next week for a live. Bye-bye.